So I wanted to show you a quick trick I figured out on GlowScript for getting a space background in your vPython animation. Let's say you're doing planetary orbits or something and you want it to look like it's out there in the middle of space. Um, it just takes a few steps here. The first thing we're gonna do is turn off the scene's auto scale feature. Um, that's gonna be important because the next step is to create a really, really big sphere. So this sphere has a radius of 25. With the auto scale turned off, the camera is going to be inside that sphere. And I'll show you why that's important in a minute. The sphere is going to have a texture given by this space image here. So this could be any image of the stars or really whatever background you want it to have. But the important thing is that the camera is going to be surrounded by this image. And then we're just going to adjust the scenes uh, X range and Y range just uh, to make sure everything fits. And then I'm going to create a box in the scene just to give us something else to look at. So let's hit control two to run. And so here we've got our box and I'm gonna right click to rotate around. And of course the box is rotating like usual. What you also see is that the background is rotating. So that star field, a little bit of uh, a nebula there in the background is also rotating. So we don't just have a static black background anymore. And so what you're seeing there is the inside of the sphere. So what we've done is taken this sphere and uh, plastered this space image onto the, onto the sphere. If we were to go outside the sphere, this is what we would see, but you can also see the same texture inside the sphere. Uh, and it looks pretty cool. Um, if you rotate up, you can see where it all gets kind of taped together at the North Pole there. And then same thing with the South Pole down here. So that ruins the spacey effect just a little bit. I'm gonna play around, see if I can learn a little bit more about textures and mapping images onto spheres, if there's something I can do with that. But I think this is pretty cool because now I can have a cool little background for all my space animation stuff. I just, that's so much more immersive than the black background. And of course, none of that stuff is actually there. That's just the edge of a sphere that we're encompassing. Um, and of course, if you wanted this to take on a larger uh, a scale, so let's say um, you needed the, the thing to be, uh, to be rotating around in a larger circle than the spheres, you just increase the, the radius of the sphere. One thing I did have to do was turn off the shininess of the sphere, because if you leave that on, then the spotlight projections there, the specular reflections um, get left on. I mean, that's kind of cool. If that's part of the lens flare effect that you want in your video, you can certainly leave that in place. Um, I found it to be a little bit distracting, so I've turned that off here. But yeah, so for example, I could uh, call this box B, and then I could animate it while true. Um, let's see, let's give this thing a time and let's say B dot pause equals vector cosine of T sine of T. You know, I could make a little animation with this. Uh, let's give it a rate of 10 here and we'll say T plus equals, I don't know, we'll give it a DT of 0 0.1 or something. And so now we'll see this thing moving around in space, which is kind of cool. I think I want that to go around to the XZ plane though. So let's turn the Y component off there and let's give it a make trail just for fun. Make trail equals true. And let's make that go around in a wider circle. So let's go around maybe a circle of radius four. And so now when this thing moves around here, I can see it moving around in space and I have a little bit of a background to measure against. And again, you can make this picture whatever you want it to be. Um, it's easiest to just upload the picture you want to Imgur and provide the Imgur link. So like if you wanted this to be a grid, you could make this a grid with like latitude and longitude and stuff. And then it's easier to measure the, 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 the movement around. But I think it's kind of cool with this thing moving around in space. So anyway, that was just a quick little trick that I figured out while preparing another video that I wanted to show you. Um, hope you enjoy that. Uh, you should be able to just copy this front part uh, and then have whatever animation you want. Um, and then you can have your space background. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.